If this video is not on autoplay, that means you want to know how the X12 compares to the X13 Auto. And hell, let's just chuck in the P890 in there for a little bit of context as well, because it's quite similar in regards to the fact it's not a Deagle or a Revolver. Let's get straight in there with the damage. The damage on an X12 is 42. On an X13 Auto, it's going to be 25, which basically means it's going to be three shots to kill compared to four shots to kill, respectively, on these weapons. The P890, just for context, is 62. That's two shots to kill. Now, headshots, it's going to be a very different story. On the X12, it's going to be 66. On the X13 Auto, 33. So it is definitely worth hitting your headshots on the X12 and the X13 Auto because it's going to be one shot less to kill on both weapons. P890, again, is going to be an absolute world of its own with 96. These lovely damage numbers count for absolute shit if the rate for fire isn't there to match it. So let's talk about that. The RPM on the X12 is 522 rounds per minute. On the X13 Auto, a whopping 923. And on the P890, it's going to be 353. Now, just to let you know, I am using the fastest triggers on here for these numbers that you can possibly get. And to be honest, that's the only way you should be running these on the X12 and P890. X13 not having a trigger. If you're not a master of Pythagoras Theorem, that means that the time to kill on the X12 is going to be 230 milliseconds. X13 Auto is going to come in at a whopping 195. And the P890 is going to come in at an absolutely head-boggling 170. However, there is a caveat to that, and that is the range. The X12 has a range of 17 meters. That's the range that it changes the shots to kill. It does have a different range profile, which is lower, but where it actually changes your shot to kill is 17, and that's going to be the same for the rest of these guns going forward. The X13 Auto, 5 meters. You can piss further than what this thing can fire out in range. It's abysmal. Now, the next one is the P890, which is going to come in at the strongest number at 20. Again, it's got a lower range number, but this is where the actual shots to kill would differ. It's worth mentioning as well that the time to kill on an X13 Auto past 5 meters would be minimum 260 milliseconds, and it would be that far beyond what the other guns would be if they're past their damage changing ranges as well. But something I want to talk about as well is just the, the, the Platinum Journey. I have these guns Platinum. Well, I've got the pistol option to go Platinum. I haven't bothered doing that on the X13 Auto, and that's because it's such a chew on and you can see in this footage it just takes shot after shot after shot to kill somebody and that's at short range obviously that's a long range kill there for me trying to do the bloody goal challenge but yeah it's just an absolute bloody nightmare now i would do want to talk about the mags because if you like to run your guns in a kimbo you want to be running the x12 or the x13 auto and that's because you can put a 50 round drum on that look how many shots that takes to kill man these are definitely friendlier towards a kimbo because of that fact when you, especially when you consider the fact that the P890 has got a 12 round mag. Now don't get me wrong, it's an absolute beast if you can hit the shots, but when you're running a Kimbo, you're going to be spam firing, missing a lot of shots, and you're going to be wanting that extra headroom on the X12 or X13 Auto. Now I do want to mention that the X12 and X13 Auto are faster than a P890 in terms of handling speeds, however compared to each other, they're very, very similar in respect of builds, obviously with the exception of this one that we're in now, which makes it a lot heavier. See how many shots that kit takes, man. That's absolute nuts for the uh, the X13 Auto. But yeah, that's kind of how it all works, and that's how it... That's kind of how I'll, I'll play these weapons. First two, it's going to be a Kimbo. P890, it's just going to be on its own, and I'm going to be using that with quick draw, so I can quickly whip that out in the middle of a gunfight, and to be able to slap people at multiple ranges as well, so, yeah, but what gun are you guys using, let me know in the comment section below, and, yeah, let's have a little chat about it, until then, I've been Shadow Dream, you guys have been awesome, and hit all the algorithm pleasing buttons, or I'll shit in your hands and make it clap. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Yes, they do, and it's beautiful. Triple kill, boys! Friendly UAV online. Sunny. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. Enemies inside the perimeter.
nice. <laughs> 